I got bad boy up next. Developed a big old leak on the front end. I think I tracked it down to the front of the uh, intake manifold. So today we're gonna go start digging around in there, change out the intake manifold gaskets, and then hopefully that works. I parked it here about a year and a half ago. <laughs> um, I was deep into that one, into Slumdog build when it was probably like two and a half years ago. Jeez. Yeah, so it's been sitting there for a while. Uh, needs a new battery. Uh, I drained out all the gas, so it should be all right. I just put new gas in it, changed out that gasket, and hopefully it stopped leaking so much. It was a start. It was leaking. It's a used motor I put in it a long time ago. I, um, you know, just just drive it, have fun, and then it had a little leak, and then it got bigger and bigger and bigger to the point right now where it's you know I had to park it, and then uh, and that's what we're at right now. So we'll get it done. Yeah, it's bad boy. Filipino for pig. <laughs> Got the red Jeep there. Got me a little white Jeep, CJ2A right here. It's a 46. It's a beater, the way we like them. <clears throat> it's like my sticker says, shit box. Love it though. We'll fix that one up. We'll fix this one up for my brother. We can do some camping. Get old bad boy started this morning. Change that intake manifold seal. Uh, hit it with the hose a little bit, and then uh, put some fresh gas in it. So hopefully we'll get it going today. Take it for a little test drive. This is bad boy. I got this guy about, I don't know, like maybe 12, 12 years ago. 
This is my first backyard paint job that I did on it. Uh, it's ready for a new one. Or leave it, I don't know. Thinking about putting it all back down to stock level with stock rims. It's got a two inch lift on it. <clears throat> it's got stock 44 rear axle. 11 inch brakes. 33 by 12s. Mickey Thompson's on there. Pro Comp shocks. I bought this off some old timer who ran out of gas on this and put it together. It runs great, except for that oil leak that I just fixed. Only other issue, it's a big issue, is the frame is bent on this side. It's, you can see it goes up and it's gotten to the point where I might have to do something about it instead of just driving it and ignoring it because it keeps lifting up every time I go off-roading. I think it's bending more and more. See where it bent here? Yeah. Bummer. I'll figure something out. It's got the V6. 225 TH350 transmission automatic T18 transfer case doesn't have lockers yet I'll probably put lockers in it too I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it this is also an issue here let me show you what's going on with my Accelerator pedal and my brake. This is where the clutch is supposed to be at, but he turned it into a brake. Um, so he covered it, patched it where the brake's supposed to go, probably because this new steering is at a little bit different angle. And it works excellent. Only problem is you gotta use both feet. So there's some fancy footwork going on here when I'm driving this thing. <laughs> So, here's the master cylinder. It's just the uh, stock master cylinder. Everything here is stock, stock, stock. He, the old man connected it to the brake. So this is all one unit. So when he applies the brake, it engages the master cylinder here with the rod. But uh, I don't know. Maybe he thought he didn't have enough room. Maybe he ran into an issue. I'm gonna find that out because I think this would work. But I'm not sure, because I never dove into it, but I think I'm gonna start pretty soon. The steering is here. That might have been a problem. A transmission, TH350. There's a tab here, that might have been the problem, but you know, you can massage that real quick. And but I think I'm gonna hook up that brake here pretty soon, in the next couple weeks. Kids have a hard time driving this thing. I don't want them getting any bad habits. Uh, we'll see, we can dig into it. I'm probably gonna put a hanging pedal here and have a brake booster here. But we'll see, we'll see what, what actually happens. I can say anything I want, but time comes to work. <laughs> we'll see what happens. <laughs> Makes it sound mean with that exhaust leak back here. <laughs> Gonna give it an oil change. Oh, another thing too, you see the exhaust the old time put in. Pretty freaking sweet. I wish I could take credit for that. We ran it underneath here. Let me turn off the engine.
So you can see the exhaust here. He cut out that bottom plate where the fenders are and he ran the exhaust out the side. Probably not very good if you're gonna take it on a rock crawling trip because this will all catch right here. All this will probably catch on something. But for what we do here in the Mojave, man, that's beautiful. Old Timer did some good work. Nice custom thing there. I gotta put some sort of skid plate here. Exhaust comes through the side, underneath, wraps around, and out the back again. I thought that was pretty neat. Empty out a new spacer here, so I'll put little brother while I work on this guy. I don't know if I'm gonna put it back down to stock, you know, ride high, take that two inch lift out, take the tires out, put stock rims and tires, maybe even a paint job on it. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, my daughters love this thing. Maybe I'll paint it pink for him. <laughs> yeah, that'll be the day. Or maybe just leave it alone. I don't know. This one's for sale. Everybody want, wants a red Jeep? There's a CJ5 V6 in it. Hit me up. Come to a fair price and it could be yours. I need more room back here to put some more junk. This one's too nice. I never really drive it. <laughs> so anyhow, if you're interested, you want to take a look at it. Uh, there's a video on it. Take a look. The trailer's for sale too. Uh, fair price only. <laughs> So I gotta move some cars around. Is uh, I gotta move little brother. Gotta move the shop truck. And then we're gonna take uh, old bad boy out for a little ride, a little test drive. I love these trees. They have good shade, but they're always giving me these little dingleberries. It gets all over everything. Pain in the butt. Little brother. I still haven't cleaned it since we brought it back from that. Uh, Mojave Trail. I'll get around to it. I just gave an oil change up here to my shop truck with uh it's pretty funny. I got the shop truck, but I don't have a shop. <laughs> I saw it on eBay, I, I couldn't pass it up. Got a great deal. I bought this about 10 years ago. Just keep driving it. It's a lot of fun. Oil change and old Bob boy here. Cleaned it up a little. I did an oil change and uh, a lot of spiders underneath there. So I sprayed it down. About to get busy. <laughs> Thank you.
boy. He's got off of school, so we're trying to figure out how to get somewhere out there. Because there's a trail that leads back there behind the golf course. But since they put new housing, I can't get back there anymore. So. Get in there. Gated. Probably could have tried it, but we'll go to we'll go to my spot. Ready, son? <laughs> Do my fancy footwork right here with my brakes. Gotta drive with both feet. Well, we almost got stuck. <laughs> I didn't bring an air compressor and I didn't tear down the tires or anything, but it was spinning. But we were able to get out. We were way down in there. I'd say it's fixed. The oil. Alright, back to suburbia. Catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.